I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's Working Waterfront. The Port of Tacoma is well known for creating family wage jobs that help power the economy. In 2024, the port is stepping up efforts to connect more people with careers. The port regularly hosts high school students on tours and recently welcomed a group of young people to the maintenance facility where they got a welding demonstration. That was pretty cool. I can definitely see myself doing this as a career as well. The port has a new contract with Workforce Central, approved by commissioners in December. In 2024, at least nine people will be placed in paid internships and at least 23 in paid work experiences. High school students say the message is clear when they learn about career opportunities. They're practically begging us to come work for them. And it's a good job, good benefits, good pay, good community. To address a shortage of people working in the trades, Port Commissioners passed a Workforce Development Strategic Plan. Making career connections for young people is a big reason the Port of Tacoma and Tacoma Public Schools are teaming up to build a new Port Maritime Center on the Foss Waterway. The campus will include the Maritime 253 Skills Center for teaching students about waterfront careers and a new Port Business Office. You can join the online open house at portmaritimecenter.com. Through the webpage and in-person events, the port is hearing from people about what they'd like to see on the site. A uh, nice little eating area. Views. Stuff like that. Maybe some um, historical things, maybe some water um, activity options. Um, you're going to be able to see this site very clearly from the city of Tacoma when you look across the waterway. It needs to be something cool to look at. Architects are putting these ideas on paper to get the project to 30% design in March. A deadline is fast approaching for local nonprofits and governments to apply for financial support from the Port of Tacoma. The Port's Local Economic Development Investment Fund has a $250,000 annual budget for helping projects that create economic development benefits in Pierce County, like museum exhibits, festivals, and community improvements. The deadline is February 23rd, and there's more information at portoftacoma.com. Also on the site, you can see the 2024 schedule of free monthly bus tours of the port and sign up for our email newsletter, Pierside. And we invite you to stay in touch on social media. There's new progress decarbonizing the Port of Tacoma. The port just bought four new electric vehicles to add to its fleet, along with new charging stations outside the Port Administration Building. The Northwest Seaport Alliance is working to add shore power to Husky Terminal so ships can plug in and turn off their engines. Already, electric yard trucks are moving containers. Last year, commissioners voted to phase out greenhouse gases under the port's direct control by 2040, accelerating the target from 2050. So the port's investments in EV infrastructure and the EV fleet is critical to our shared vision of sustainability. Not only will it reduce emissions, it will enhance the air quality for our community. Port of Tacoma commissioners meet at least once a month at the Fabulich Center off Port of Tacoma Road. Meetings begin at noon and public comment is always welcome. In January, two commissioners, Kristen Ang and Deanna Keller, took the ceremonial oath of office after voters re-elected them in November. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. On February 1st, commissioners passed a proclamation honoring Black History Month. To mark this month, we've been hearing from black longshore workers telling their stories. Listen to their in-depth interviews at portoftacoma.com. In January, the Northwest Seaport Alliance held an appreciation event for ILWU Local 23 members at the Union Hall in Tacoma, providing free lunch from food trucks. Longshore workers keep cargo moving through our terminals safely and efficiently. The community is stepping up to plant street trees here in the Tide Flats. In January, volunteers work to plant 50 trees that will grow tall along Marshall Avenue. 
The port partnered with the city of Tacoma and the Tacoma Tree Foundation to organize the planting. Finally, this month, Monkey Shines. The popular Tacoma event coincides with Lunar New Year and sends people searching public places for hidden glass art. 2024 is the year of the dragon and the Port of Tacoma commissioned hilltop artists to produce glass floats for monkey shines. After Tacoma Public Schools students create floats in the hot shop, port employees hide about a dozen all around Pierce County. The port has been participating in monkey shines since 2018. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back in March with another edition of Working Waterfront.